Yo, what's up guys, Sichiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing with this Giant Skeleton plus Hawk Rider deck. I used to play this deck a long time ago with the cannon instead of the Tesla, but of course nowadays with the double evolution available, we need to have, yeah, two evolutions. Ice Spirit evolution isn't really a good um, yeah, evolution in my opinion, so people nowadays are running it with the Skeletons plus the Tesla, but it's fun to see this deck back in the meta. I saw Wallace, one of the best Brazilian players, being really high with the top 25 in the world right now with this um, yeah, exact same version so i decided to copy it and try it out in today's video i'm currently at 2322 medals let's see if we can get some nice w's and maybe even push up our way towards 2400 medals which would be amazing so i will see you guys soon with game number one okay perfect guys look at what we found game number one let's give him the good luck and let's see what this guy's gonna be running but of course with the dagger dash in the meta I feel like it's not really a good play. I used to really like to start off, for example, with Hawk Rider. Nowadays, in my opinion, um, yeah, Hawk Rider first play isn't just really that good because, um, yeah, there's a lot of people running, for example, Goblins, running Ice Spirit plus Lock. In general, it's just really easy to stop the Hawk Rider, and then most of the times you're gonna give them, um, yeah, positive elixir trade. So I think nowadays it's kind of, yeah, strange to say, but you need to be careful when to use it and when not to use it. The Hawk Rider. I think mainly you want to use it together with, for example, the um, Giant Skeleton, because the Giant Skeleton is really good against the Dagger Dashes. So I'm actually going to go Giant Skeleton up high here, and then afterwards I'm going to go Hawk Rider. I think this push should already be quite annoying for him um, yet yeah, to deal with. Okay, I'm going to pop ability as well to start taking care of the Tesla as soon as possible. I'm going to go maybe with a Prediction look. Oh, looks like he does have NATO as well. Okay, this is going to be a rough one, guys. He's going to be running NATO plus Tesla in the same deck, which of course is amazing against the Hawk Rider. So rough matchup here to start off today's video. Let's see what we can get going though, but this is gonna be, yeah, not fun for us for sure. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna prepare the Tesla like this, just in case he goes with like a Goblin Drill plus Bomber combination, which he might do because, yeah, he started off the video, um, or this game, I should say, with that exact same combination, so he might be trying to do that again. Okay, let's go Tesla here, and then I think I'm gonna go Ice Spirit as soon as possible. There you go, very nice Ice Spirit, and then we don't take too much damage. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a um, yeah, difficult one, as I said, of course, having Tesla, having um, Nado against the Hawk Rider is two of the best counters in the game yeah, against the Hawk Rider. So this is going to be, I think, a pretty difficult one, but we're, of course, going to try our best. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to let the um, Archer Queen be. I'm going to go Giant Skeleton here. I'm not sure about that delivery, to be honest. What is he doing? I'm going to go Hawk Rider here as well. This is actually looking very good for us. Like, he doesn't have that much Elixir. We can pop the ability. We can then afterwards go with Skeletons. Unfortunately, the left side Dagger Dashes is going to yeah, clean up our Hawk Rider. And then, okay, Dagger Dashes, Nado, um, Tesla. How are we going to break, break through here? I'm kind of afraid to be honest. Okay, let's keep under pressure. I think Giant Skeleton here at the bridge plus a Hawk Rider is not a bad idea. I don't think he has the best psycho right now. Yeah, exactly. He needs to go with a drill defensively which of course really good for us we can go with an earthquake and then i'm gonna go with some evil skeletons at the bridge maybe to force out yeah delivery or something like that okay there you go we force out delivery which is pretty nice and then we're actually getting a decent amount of damage which is of course good for us but at the same time how are we gonna defend all the time in the goblin drill okay let's go lock here just to make sure we don't take too much damage the bomber is not gonna lock onto the tower i think okay now it's gonna lock onto the tower thanks to his um nado and oh my god, that combination is just so broken. Like the Evil Bomber, in my opinion, is one of the best, if not for sure, the best evolution in the entire game right now. Okay, let's go with Giant Skeleton to the bridge to tank all the um, drill. Nice, perfect. He went with a bad Bomber. Wait, what is he doing? Okay, we can go with... Okay, let's go with Earthquake here as well. I think we should be able to maybe get something going here with the Giant Skeleton. With the Archer Queen, he's probably going to go with his delivery sometime soon. And then I'm going to go with Hawk Rider here to tank. Okay, nice. Let's go with Hawk Rider to tank. Archer Queen is still alive. Look at the Archer Queen with 1 HP. Oh my god, that is actually so clutch. He got two hits there. Um, yeah, on the right side tower. And because of those two hits, we are in the damage lead right now. Wait a second. Are we going to beat this guy running Tesla, Nado? Like, in my opinion, he has such a hard counter here. Okay, let's go Hawk Rider as well. I don't... Um, yeah, we can't hit the Earthquake on top of everything. But I think we can just let it be. Let's go with the Archer Queen as well here. To be annoying, we're probably going to force out something else. I think the Hawk Rider might be able to get a shot onto the tower. Hawk Rider gets a shot onto the tower. And we're actually in the damage lead right now. There's no way we're going to win this one, right? Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here again on defense. We are going to take a little bit of damage with the um, yeah, Goblins. I think I'm going to have to keep up the Earthquake cycle to continue getting damage. Okay, he uses the Nado, which is good for us. Because, of course, whenever the Nado is out of cycle, we can get more value from the Hawk Riders and stuff like that. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Let's then go with Ice Spirit. Let's then go with a Lock here as well. And I'm going to go Earthquake on top of this Bomber. Nice. I think I'm going to go High Tesla just so he can't uh, yeah, High Tesla afterwards. And then I'm going to go Giant Skeleton here at the bridge. 
Okay, nice. We need to wait a little bit. I'm gonna go Hulk Rider here as well. Let's go with um, Ice Spirit on defense and then go with some Skeletons. And I'm gonna wait a little bit to try and get a good timing. Please tell me that we kill all the Goblins. Nice. Look at the Giant Skeleton. Wait, what? How is the Giant Skeleton Tower? I think with the damage plus the Earthquake it's gonna be enough or the damage just by itself is already enough to be able to take down the tower. Let's go, guys. Very, very nice game to start off today's episode. I mean, he had a lot of Hulk Rider counters. I'm not gonna lie. He had Tesla. He had NATO, he had a quick cycle, delivery, poison. The only good thing for us is that the giant skeleton, as I said before, is very good against the dagger dashes. Even though dagger dashes is really good against the Hulk Rider, of course, when you can force out the ammo, when you can make sure that the Hulk Rider is being tanked for, I think the Hulk Riders in general are still, yeah, pretty annoying for him to deal with. Very, very nice game. Don't forget to, yeah, smash that like button. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe, guys. Okay, hoping into game number two. Let's give it a good luck. Let's see what this guy is gonna, um, yeah, play. And then, okay, he starts off with Bomber plus um, Piggy at the bridge. Like, people will sometimes just catch me off guard with their start. Not sure if the Earthquake was even necessary, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm, I'm not expecting, like, who starts off with Hawk Rider? Uh, or, excuse me, who starts off with Piggies plus Bomber at the bridge just like that? Okay, let's see what version he's running. He's maybe going to be playing the version I uploaded yesterday, which is, yeah, very strong in the current meta right now. Okay, let's go Archer Queen here in the same lane as his Little Prince. I guess we can just um, yeah, let it be. He might go with another set of Royal Hawk soon. Oh, he does have Poison. Okay. Poison is going to be nice for him because the Poison is, of course, pretty good against the um, yeah, Archer Queen. He might go with a Bomber at the bridge. I feel like he... Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like this is a typical guy. I mean, he started off with Royal Hawks plus Bomber at the bridge. I feel like this is the typical guy who's going to start off uh, or drop his Bomber whenever he gets an opportunity. So we need to be very, very careful when to... Um, Okay, yeah, let's prepare the Hawk Rider. When to predict his Bombers because he's going to be yeah, very aggressive with them. Okay, I'm going to go Hawk Rider right now because the Dagger Dashes was still not fully charged. So this Hawk Rider should be able to get one or even two shots on the tower, which is going to be a lot of damage. So nice, very good situation. And then here we need to watch out if he goes with Royal Hawks, but I'm not sure if he's going to have enough Elixir to win this. I don't think he will have enough Elixir. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Let's then go with, um, ooh, let's go with some Skeletons to distract. But the skeletons were a little bit too late, so this little prince is also gonna lock onto the tower for quite a bit of damage, and he's actually in the damage lead right now. Okay, not the best, um, not the best defense, but at the same time, I think a pretty decent situation for us. We do need to be careful though. Okay, I'm gonna prepare my Tesla up high just in case he goes with his Royal Hawks. He does have poison, so I'm not sure if it's even necessary to go with Tesla like all the way towards the. Um, the top of the field because of course against earthquake it's nice to play it high but against the, um, the poison i guess we don't really need to okay i think it's very important to always go giant skeleton up high especially against bomber i don't really want to give him any opportunity to go with the evil bomber so i'm just gonna go with a hawk rider here i'm gonna go with earthquake as well and then i'm gonna go with a last second look to try and predict anything and also in this case we're gonna kill the little prince with that so the hawk rider is gonna get one shot and okay that's about it um he also uses the delivery Okay, that delivery was not necessary. We can go with the evil Tesla here. Nice. Let's see what he's going to do. Let's then afterwards prepare, I think, an ice spirit like this. And we need to be careful with the evil skeletons. But I think that should be fine. I don't think the evil skeletons... Yeah, the evil skeletons are not going to get much out of it. And then here we need to prepare another... Okay, let's go Earthquake here defensively. And then I think I'm going to prepare the lock as well. Okay, there you go. Let's go with lock now right away. Let's then go with Tesla. Then I'm gonna prepare the giant skeleton. If he goes with ability, that will be way too aggressive. Okay, that ability was way too aggressive. I don't think he has. Okay, he does have the evil bomber in cycle. We need to go with ice pair plus lock because if not, that's gonna get um, yeah so much damage. And then here we can go with Hawk Rider. We can go with earthquake. And I think this push should be very hard for him to defend. He just spent a lot of elixir. He did get a good amount of damage out of it. But how are you gonna defend perfectly this Hawk Rider? Which in this case he cannot. So that's good for us. Okay, let's go Archer Queen up high. Even though he has poison, I think it's still worth it. Poison doesn't directly. Kill the Archer Queen, and then here I'm gonna go with a high Tesla as well. Okay, perfect. We're getting a good amount of value out of the Archer Queen. As I said, Poison doesn't directly kill it. We do need to watch out. Oh my god, with the Giant Skeleton. He doesn't have the, um, the Evil Bomber on Psycho, so that's good for us. We can go with a Lock here defensively, and then I think I'm gonna go with Hawk Rider plus an Earthquake as soon as I can. Okay, nice. Let's go with Evil Skeletons. I'm gonna go Earthquake here to kill the Cannon, and then we might be able to Psycho even back to another um, yeah, Hawk Rider sometime soon. Okay, so this is actually a very intense match. I feel like this guy's playing this so aggressive, but at the same time, it's working out for him. Um, because, oh wait, the Tesla was a little bit too late. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Do we need to also go with Lock? I mean, maybe I should. Yeah, I definitely should have locked as soon as I was thinking about logging. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Giant Skeleton here up high. And then I think I'm going to go Pop the Ability. Let's go with Earthquake here as well. Let's then go with Ice Spirit plus Lock plus um, Skeletons. 
and then I'm gonna go Earthquake here. Okay, Hawk Rider might be able to get to the tower actually. It's still a little bit of HP. No, unfortunately, the Bomber does take care of it. Wait, what? Those Hoggies were really bad. He Royal Hawk straight into the um, yeah, giant skeleton bomb. Let's go with Earthquake here. Let's go with another Hawk Rider. We need to keep it under pressure right now because if not, that's gonna be game over. Okay, let's go. Archer Queen up high. Let's go with a lock here as well. Let's go with um, ability as soon as we can. Let's go with skeletons, and I'm gonna go Hawk Rider as soon as we can as well. Okay, can we still somehow get this victory here? We need this Hawk Rider to connect um, yeah, to the tower because if not, we're gonna be game over. Okay, please tell me the Hawk Rider somehow connects. Hawk Rider connects. Oh my god. Did we get the victory here? Four seconds left. Let's go with Earthquake as well. No, I think we lost. I think we. No, we ended up losing. His tower 33 HP. Our tower 9 HP, we ended up losing for 24 HP. What a good game. I definitely made some mistakes here and there. I could have played that way better. I feel like if I played that flawless, I definitely think we could have won. Um, he played it really aggressive. Like, it kind of catched me off guard in some situations, especially in single elixir as well. Um, his start with, like, the Royal Hawks at the bridge plus Bomber was definitely not expected on my part. So, well played to him, I guess. He did yeah, end up winning the match, of course. So, well played to him. And then, unfortunately, we were so close, but not quite enough. Hawk Rider in the last situation, yeah, was kind of difficult to break through. The um, quick cycle he had with the delivery, with the bomber, he just, yeah, he was playing that very well to be honest near the end of the game. Okay, let's go Archie Queen here. Looks like this guy is running Cannoneer, by the way. It's kind of crazy to see Cannoneer. I feel like almost no one is using Cannoneer in the current meta. But I feel like against our specific deck, against Hawk Rider and against Giant Skeleton, it is pretty good. So we need to be careful with the Cannoneer here, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna put my ability to try and DPS down this um, boulder perfect and I'm gonna go giant skeleton in the same lane of the uh, giant. I think this is gonna be giant graveyard after seeing the cards he um, just showed. Probably it's gonna be a giant graveyard deck. Okay, let's see. Is he gonna graveyard already? He might just go graveyard here to be honest at the bridge with this giant. Or what is he gonna do? Okay, looks like he's not. Looks like he's gonna instead support the giant with some bets and then also with, um, with the little prince here. Okay, so interesting matchup. I'm not sure how good of or how bad of a matchup. I feel like Giant Skeleton in uh, general is going to get quite a lot of value against this matchup. But as well, the bowler, like his bowler is going to be also very annoying for us. Okay, let's see. Okay, he's, he went quite aggressive here to win us. I think we might be able to force out, for example, a bowler on the left side. And then I'm going to pop my ability plus Hawk Rider on the right side. Okay, let's pop ability now and let's then also go with Hawk Rider here. Like, I don't think he has that much elixir right now. How is he gonna... Oh, he does have enough elixir for the bowler. I thought that he was not gonna have enough elixir for the bowler. Hawk Rider still gets one shot on the tower. Giant Skeleton is gonna get close, but it's not gonna quite um, yeah, reach it with the bomb. So, not sure how to feel about the situation. Like, as I said, I'm not a big fan of it, but at the same time, we might still be able to get a W here. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit to try and counter the bowler. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I think, yeah, I was about to say, I think we do need to go with something. Because if not, it's going to get uh, yeah, quite a lot of damage. And here, knowing that his bowler is still out of cycle, I'm going to go Giant Skeleton plus Hawk Rider at the bridge just to be annoying and force out quite a lot of Elixir. Nice. Very good out cycle there. I'm going to go Evil Skeletons here against the Giant. In the meantime, he goes with Earthquake. This Earthquake, I think we can just go with... Uh, or he goes with Graveyard. We can just go with the Earthquake plus, I think, uh, a Lock. And it should be a nice and easy defense. Okay, he does go with his Little Prince plus Ability. I think we can go with giant skeleton like this and let's also go with some skeletons here just in case he goes with a zap and then his little prince goes crazy okay i think a good situation for us i mean look at the damage we dealt on the left side definitely not looking bad at all okay let's cycle archer queen here i think i'm gonna force out the bowler on on defense to be honest with the hawk rider but i'm gonna wait a little bit just to see if he goes with his graveyard okay let's go hawk rider now to yeah force out the bowler there you go let's go with ability and then afterwards i'm just gonna go with a look here last second Plus a giant skeleton, plus some skeletons up high. Okay, he does go with his arrows. There was a nice arrow by him. Giant is going to get on top of the tower for quite a bit of damage. I think I should have used my Tesla, to be honest. I thought that we, were, uh, we would be able to defend it without the Tesla. In this case, he gets a lot of damage because of that. Okay, let's go Hawk Rider. Let's go with a lock here as well. Please tell me that the Hawk Rider somehow gets, uh, gets a shield. Looks like it doesn't. Oh my god, this is not looking good, guys, right now. Is he going to go giant? Okay, looks like he goes giant, but like lower. I'm gonna go uh, Hawk Rider as soon as I can. And I think this Hawk Rider should be able to maybe get to the tower. Let's see what he drops though. Okay, he goes with minions. He goes with Zep on defense as well. I'm gonna go with Skeletons here at the bridge. Then I'm gonna go with the Archer Queen as well. Okay, we force out the arrows, which is good. And then I'm gonna pop the ability, which I think wasn't even necessary to be honest. Okay, can we not just spell cycle him? I'm not sure how much damage the, the Earthquake does to be honest. Okay, let's see. 
think I'm gonna go Giant Skeleton up high, and then I'm gonna go Hawk Rider as soon as I can. He does go with a Minions Prediction. That was a nice Minions. I'm gonna go Ice Spirit here. Let's go with Earthquake on defense. And then I'm gonna go Lock here as soon as possible as well. Okay. I mean, I think we just need to Spell Cycle him. Like, at this point, we're not gonna break through his defense. He has the Bowler ready as well. I think we can bait out his Bowler here with a Ice Spirit. And then he's probably just gonna Bowler like... Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, Prediction Bowler. Okay, I'm gonna try and Cycle like crazy, guys. I'm gonna try and Cycle like crazy. Not sure if it's too crazy, but I think we might be able to pull this off. Okay, let's go. Let's go Earthquake here. And I think the Earthquake is going to be enough to take down the tower. Please tell me it's enough. Okay, nice. Oh my god, that was really close. I mean, we're not going to break through at that point with Hawk Rider. So I was like, I think we need to Earthquake Cycle. Because if we're not going to Earthquake Cycle him at this point, we're just going to um, yeah, slowly but surely lose to all his giant pushes with the Graveyard. And then also with all the support units. I feel like that matchup wasn't that easy, to be honest. I mean, um, Giant Skeleton Hawk Rider is definitely pretty strong in the current meta. But it still has quite a lot of um, counters, especially in those type of situations where you're facing um, yeah, Giant Graveyard, which of course is good against Cycle decks. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here in the back. Let's see what this guy's going to be running. I think this is going to be the last game of today's video. So hopefully we can finish off today's video with a W. I think so far we lost once. Yeah, the one match we lost for like 24 HP. And then the other two matches we were able to get some nice W. So it would be awesome to get another W here against this golem player he went golem basically first play i mean it's a nice play because he is gonna yeah tank for the archer queen so it's not like a bad golem but at the same time i feel like it's quite aggressive okay let's go tesla here for sure we need to start dpsing down the golem as soon as possible he also goes with a lumberjack not sure if i should go anything else i think i'm just gonna let this be um yeah for the moment and then afterwards we can maybe even try to activate the king tower not sure if we can i don't think we can get it to be honest because the giant skeleton bomb Plus the Dagger Dashes is gonna kill it. Yeah, it's gonna kill it. Okay, I'm gonna go Skeletons here to try and force out some Dagger Dash shots. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go Hawk Rider. Okay, oh, maybe I shouldn't have... Okay, oh, that was a really bad idea. But at the same time, it still worked out well for us. Um, I wanted to say maybe I shouldn't have forced out the Dagger Dashes. Because this way, he cannot activate that easily. And then luckily for us, it was still not able to activate. So that was kind of um, yeah lucky on our part. But I guess it's fine. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here to cycle, and then I think I'm gonna go... Let's just go Giant Skeleton same lane. Like, I don't think we need to pressure opposite lane. I feel like if we pressure opposite lane, he might be able to defend it, like, easily. He did show he has a Lumberjack, maybe he has a Knight or something in there. I think I'd rather just prioritize defense first, and then afterwards maybe try to pressure at some point when we know his cycle is bad. Um, or when we have a good opportunity. Okay, let's go lock here on defense. I'm going to set up a Tesla again. And then I think I'm just going to let this be. Giant Skeleton should be able to tank quite a well. And if the Barbarians end up killing it, it will um, yeah, explode everything there. Okay, so pretty good situation, I would say. At the same time, not sure how good um, yeah, it's going to be in double and triple elixir. But for now, I'm definitely not a, um, like in a bad spot. Okay, let's see. He's probably going to go Lumberjack sometime soon. Nice, let's go with Hawk Rider plus Evo Skeletons at the bridge here. Perfect, this is a good situation. He does have Nadon Cycle, he does have the Zap, but that's still going to be quite annoying for him because, yeah, as I said, he doesn't have Nadon Cycle, so that we'll be able to get a um, decent amount of damage. Now, if he goes Golem here, we can get... Oh my god, that was a perfect timing. Um, I want to say we can get a good push going with the Giant Skeleton plus the Hawk Rider. He is going to go with the Barbs, but at the same time, I feel like that should... Wait, what? The Hawk Rider is glitching out. Please, Hawk Rider, tell me that you at least... Okay, at least one shot. And the Giant Skeleton Bomb also makes it, so that's a good amount of damage. We do need to be careful now with this defense. Okay, let's uh, go Archer Queen first. Let's then go with a high Evo Tesla. And then I'm just going to have to go with Giant Skeleton in the face of everything. Okay, perfect. Let's go with Archer Queen ability. Giant Skeleton will be able to tank for everything. And then the Archer Queen here... We'll be able to DPS down um, the tower quite a bit. But we do need to be careful. This is kind of scary. I'm going to go with uh, Tesla just in case. Not sure how necessary it is. But I think if we didn't Tesla, that Electro Dragon was going to get even more damage. Okay, he does go with his Elixir Collector. We have Earthquake and Cycle, so no problem for us. And then here, I think we can go with another um, yeah, set of Skeletons. Not sure if I should pressure right now. I think I'm down a little bit on Elixir. So instead of pressuring here with like Hulk Rider, um, give him a lot of value with the Barbarians and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to focus on defense, to be honest. Okay, let's go Giant Skeleton first here. Let's then set up a Tesla. I'm going to pop the ability as soon as possible. Just to yeah, be annoying, force out some Elixir. And then here I'm going to go with some Evil Skeletons towards the side as well. Okay, perfect. He does go with Zep. And then this should be a pretty nice and easy defense, to be honest. Okay, let's go with Giant Skeleton here at the bridge. I don't think he has the best cycle right now. We can just go in, I think. And then afterwards, we should be able to defend 
this golem with like the um, evil tesla nice the hawk rider is getting to the tower he misses the nato hawk rider is gonna take the tower and there was a very nice timing very nice w against the golem player let's give him a good game really really nice push we basically went uh well i wouldn't say undefeated because we did end up losing once but that one matchup we lost was yeah insanely close with like 24 hp besides that we beat this i would say pretty uh, difficult matchup we actually got some pretty difficult matchups in today's video but we were still able to get three victories so hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys did enjoy today's video please make sure to smack the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys